Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, but the Buffalo Naval and Military Park is getting into the spirit tonight. This is Courtney Speckman joining us to talk about what they have going on. And uh, first, we're talking about a big anniversary for the Sullivans. Tell we, us about that. We are. This year marks the 80th anniversary of the Sullivans, yeah. both the launch and the commissioning. So we will be commemorating the 80th anniversary all throughout the year. And we couldn't think of a better way to kick that off than with a St. Patrick's Day celebration. Yeah, so tell us what we'll be doing tonight. So we are planning a, a lot of different events, or one event, where we are going to be opening up the ship for tours. We will have docents, staff members on board the ship talking about the history and the ongoing preservation work. We will also have a full corned beef and cabbage dinner. Mm. We'll have beer from the Sullivan's Brewing Company, and then we will have um, some other updates and um, history of the ship that our curator will be providing. And of course, the five Sullivan's br brothers, we're talking about Irish heritage there, of, of, of course. Uh, and the, for those of our viewers who do not know, I'd imagine few people didn't hear about the story of the Sullivan's, especially last year when we were doing so much coverage with the ship, but remind us who they were. So the five Sullivan brothers were from Waterloo, Iowa. They served together aboard the USS Juno and um, the ship unfortunately sank during the Battle of Guadalcanal in um, November of 1942. So when all five brothers were lost, President Roosevelt decided to name the ship that is now in Buffalo for, in their honor. In 1943, and uh, now here we are 80 years later. S the ship has had some tough times as of late. We remember last year it listed. Um, how are things on that ship right now? Um, they are stable. The ship is on an even keel, so it is not listing right now. We were actually able to bring in a marine surveyor over the winter to do a full survey of the Sullivans and all of the vessels at the Naval Park, and we should be getting his final recommendations and final report at the end of this month so that we can use that as a roadmap to make our long-term preservation plans. Oh, very good. Well, we'll keep track of that. The event tonight and then opening day is coming up as well. It is. So um, March 25th, next Saturday, will be our opening day as of next Saturday will be open seven days a week. Visitors can come and see all of our all of the vessels, all of the ships at the Naval Park, and we'll be um, planning a full year of programming and updates to talk about the Sullivan specifically. But we hope you can come and we hope people can come and enjoy all of the ships and celebrate with us. And very quickly, do people need to get tickets ahead of time? Can they just come show up? We do have tickets available on our website, so buffalonavalpark.org. Tickets are $35. It includes the food, the beer, the tours, and everything that we're planning tonight. All right, the corned beef part of that. <laughs> Love that. All right, thanks so Should much, Courtney. Great. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back.